guys, so I'm here today to do a tag video. It feels like a while since I've done a tag video, I think. Pretty sure it's been a while, but I am absolutely in love with this tag. It's the Not A Booktube Newbie tag and it was started by Shelby over at Clever Fox who also very kindly tagged me. So thank you so much Shelby and I'm so excited to be doing this video. I've been really enjoying watching everybody else film it. So about time I got round to it, isn't it? Without further ado though, let's get into the questions, shall we? Question number one is an easy one, and that is, how old is your channel? This channel, Jean's Bookish Thoughts, turned four on Boxing Day of 2016, so only a few weeks ago it became four years old. Question number two is, what are your favorite videos to make? This one's a little bit more tricky because it depends on the mood I'm in and I get different things from different videos. I don't make videos I don't enjoy, so I enjoy making everything on my channel. So it's actually really difficult to think what are my favourite videos to make. Some of the most rewarding videos are actually the videos that maybe take the most time, the most thought, and actually sometimes make me the most anxious because they require more thought and those would be like the few videos I've done on politics like books by and about refugees or who should talk about politics those were all videos that I guess I had a slight nervousness about uploading and making because I wanted them to be perfect but once they were up they had an amazing discussion in the comments down below and it was so heartwarming and wonderful so those I enjoyed so much after uploading them. I love filming favourites videos because they give me a chance to just sit down and reflect on all of the things I've enjoyed that month or recently and that of course is a really enjoyable experience in itself so that's really nice and I usually then get some really cool recommendations from you guys back in the comments. Something I get to do more at work than I do for my channel just because of time. Our videos aren't necessarily of me just sitting down, but they involve lots more uh, clips and scenery and um, amalgamation of different things. And I love those kind of videos because I love editing. I really enjoy the process of editing and it's not quite as exciting when you're just editing yourself and cutting out all the mistakes you've made. It's a lot more fun obviously when you get to do really funky things with editing and any opportunity I get to do fun editing projects I thoroughly enjoy that. Recently I've been really enjoying filming my three book recommendations videos which is a kind of series I started that is part book review, part if you like this you might like this and coming up with themes in the books for those videos has been a lot of fun and actually another one of my favourite types of videos to make are book hauls because if I've got a pile of books waiting to do a book haul about I'm usually really excited about all of those books. It also kind of reminds me of being at home or the experience you get with flatmates when um, you've been on a little shopping trip or you get something in the post and you go and share that with your flatmates or your mum like I do um, and it's really nice to share that excitement with other people and be like oh look what I got. I also love filming collabs with my friends because they are of course a lot of fun. I don't like editing them as much because they're usually so long <laughs> compared to uh, the edited version. <laughs> <laughs> but I love filming them. Question number three is what piece of advice would you give somebody looking to start a booktube channel? And this is actually a piece of advice for YouTube in general but also booktube and that is just to start and to get over this idea of being perfect especially from the beginning. If you go back and watch my old videos they are nowhere near as like, slick, if you can describe my videos as slick as they are now. Um, I originally filmed on my MacBook webcam. I did that for two years and um, there's just not a lot of that on this channel because I was making videos before this channel and then I filmed on my iPhone for years and loads of people didn't realise I filmed on my iPhone because if you just get some decent lighting uh, it's an amazing camera. I have a whole tutorial actually about filming and editing on your iPhone and I think this is particularly useful if you're doing like booktube videos because uh, what is most important with a booktube video is the words. You're talking about literature, you're not necessarily trying to make a really artsy short film so as long as you've got a camera that shows your face and you can hear your voice then that's all that really matters. So take the plunge, start off with something really easy like a tag video. In fact there's a booktube newbie tag which is a really good one to start with. But talk about whatever types of books you want to talk about, if it's books you want to talk about. Don't worry about reading the right kind of thing. There are people talking about so many different things Things and I subscribe to people talking about so many different things so there will be people that will want to have a chat with you and in my experience booktube is an incredibly welcoming 
community. Oh, and leave comments on other people's videos. Not comments like, I have a channel, go check it out, but you know, just interact with other people. If you want people to interact with you, you need to interact with them um, so that you can build up relationships that way. And one last piece of advice that kind of feeds into the next question, and that is to not feel restricted. So if you want to make a book video and then you want to make a hair tutorial and then you want to make a video about your experience coming out to your parents, do all of those things. Question number four is, since joining, have you run into any unforeseen challenges? Yeah, a little bit actually. Um, I did not foresee the negative reaction I would get when people started to cotton on to the fact that I was a feminist. Which I think also came with, you know, gaining more subscribers, more people watching my videos and um, even though I don't think I'd ever hidden my uh, political views from my channel, maybe I wasn't talking about them as openly as I, I started to and I did get a actual, a, quite a small proportion of people reacting ne negatively, don't get me wrong, it wasn't crazy, but I really didn't expect it when it did come. Equally though, I didn't expect the far, far larger positive reaction that I got when I decided to ignore those people and uh, be all the more forthright with uh, my feelings on feminism, which was incredibly positive and made me feel even more part of a community and has been really helpful for me to um, discuss things and think about things and really wonderful. I'll, I'll never understand people that think that you should separate your views on um, social issues and politics from books. I think those two are incredibly intertwined and that's the way I like it. Question number five is what is your favourite book or series you've read because of booktube? Now this is a tricky one because there has been tons. So I'll just list a few quickly here. There is the work of Shirley Jackson. I've read The Haunting of Hill House and We Have Always Lived in the Castle, both of which I adored. And I first heard about Shirley Jackson on booktube and that was quite early on when I started booktube, so that was wonderful. I read The Magician by W. Somerset Maugham, specifically because of Leslie from Words of the Reader and adored that book as well. Elijah's Mermaid by Essie Fox. I'm not sure I ever would have picked up The Hunger Games if it wasn't from Nicola over Ro at Robotnik, so those books. The Seer by Ali Smith, Grief is a Thing with Feathers, Crow by Ted Hughes are all books I specifically read because uh, my lovely friend Jen pushed them on me. Um, equally, The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer was a book that Lena and Jen had both raved about and I adored. The Women Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston is a book I picked up because Lauren over at Reads and Daydreams mentioned that to me. It starts to get a bit blurry to the point where was it on booktube that I heard them recommend it or did they recommend it to me in person if these are people I'm now friends with but I mean, those things have intermingled in my life. Oh, and the works of Isabel Greenberg. I originally picked up the Encyclopedia of Early Earth because of Sano over Books and Quills and her work is amazing. Oh, honestly guys, there's too many to list. Um, those are just a few though and all books I would highly recommend. I'll of course link them down below if you want to find out more about them. There's not time to talk about them here. I've already rambled on for long enough. Question number six is, what is your favorite aspect of booktube? Uh, a few things. Booktube got me back into reading after a few years of barely reading anything that wasn't for university and I am forever grateful to it for that. It keeps me reading and it makes me really think about what I'm reading because of the discussion I then take part in afterwards. It has also gained me some of the best friends I have today. The next question is give a booktube newbie a shout out. Now I'm not sure how recently everyone I'm subscribed to started their booktube channels but I know who I most recently subscribed to and I just checked her channel, she has been making videos for four months but they are wonderful and you should all go and check her out and that is Bilingual Bookworm. I subscribed to her a few days ago because of a video she made with Amy Jane Smith who is also a booktuber I absolutely adore and would highly recommend checking out. So that would be my initial recommendation off the top of my head. And lastly, who do you tag? And I wanted to tag Amy from Shout Amy because I've known her perhaps the longest since I started booktube but she's already done it. So I'll tag some of the people I have already mentioned including Lauren from Reads and Daydreams, Nicola from Robotnik, I'd also like to tag Vanessa from Jaboski, Taylor from Leatherbound and Ellie from The Bibliophile. Um, I tag all of you guys but of course I would encourage you all to do this tag if you're interested in doing this tag. Uh, it was a lot of fun, I think you can tell by the length. <laughs> 
<laughs> that I'm sure this has ended up being. But until next time guys, happy reading and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!